we're outside the Savoy on O'Connor Street and we're going to go in and find out what people think the surprise film will be. What do you think the surprise film is going to be? I have no idea whatsoever. And if you could see any film, what would it be? Which would hopefully be the surprise film for yourself? Uh, probably Wolverine. Oh, Wolverine, why do you say that? Out April. Big hype, big budgets, big actors. Should be good. And will you be disappointed if you see anything that's... No, not at all. Sure, half the whole buzz of being here is, just, you know, it's usually something good. Last year was the escapist. So, oh, so you were here last year? Even to that same caliber, it'd be great. So. Uh, and are you a fan of the film festival in general? Oh yeah, absolutely, hands down. Kitty, what do you think the surprise film might be? Uh, international. And why do you say that? Because Klein Owen was here early on in, in the week, so I presume. That's a very good guess. What did you put in the box for your guess? I'm putting it in now. Watchmen. Watchmen. And why do you think it's going to be Watchmen? Because it's only two weeks away and two years ago they had 300 and it was coming out a couple of weeks right. after that. So you're not a stranger then to the surprise film at all? No, I saw 300 a few years ago. But that and was last year, but. Are you always pleasantly surprised at what they give you? Yeah. They usually pick a good movie. My bet is on the boat that rocked. And why do you say that? Because it's coming out soon, very soon. I assume it's finished. It's gone star cast, and it's linked to Ireland. So I say the Lakers wouldn't probably have the money on having a premiere in one of the other bigger festivals, so they would probably go for here. And have you ever been to the surprise film before? I was at last year's. And what was it? The Escapist. So what do you think the surprise film is going to be? Um, I have a feeling it may be Watchmen, but I'm hoping it's Watchmen, but I don't think it will be. I think it may be knowing Nicolas Cage's new film. This is Kevin O'Brien, and he's one of the volunteers here. Kevin, what do you think the surprise film is going to be? I'm sort of thinking it might be The Damned United, the football film. And why do you think that? I'm, I, I don't know. It's, it's just like a good guess. I don't think it's going to be a big blockbuster or anything like that. You know, I don't think there's anything due out that soon. Like some people put down Star Trek, but I know that's going to be May. And uh, Watchmen is another big guess here as well. Like so, and but we never know. I see that you guys have a box here. Are there many entries inside? Yeah, we're do we're getting quite a few. Getting quite a few. Doing a bit of break. Uh, brisk business here, myself and my colleague over there, Deebs. Ladies, what are you hoping to see tonight? We don't know. <laughs> Something good, maybe maybe romantic or maybe. Have you ever been to the Spice Pillum before? No. We, did, we didn't know what we'd, uh, what we'd like to see at the Film Festival when the tickets came out so early a few weeks ago, so we just said potluck, let's just see what comes up. Would you give us some insider information, Joanne, on what the film is, please? No. Not nothing? No. A bribe? No. Okay. She's not saying anything. So can I just ask you a quick question? What was the surprise film? Hammer 2. And were you pleasantly surprised? Brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. I must say that I didn't expect it, but it was great and I really enjoyed it. And what did you think of Hamlet 2? Uh, it was disappointing. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't like Steve Coogan. It was terrific. It was really funny. Was it a great choice on behalf of Grania? It was a great choice, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Thanks. It was crazy fun, though. I mean... It's a great comedy. <laughs> and would you come and see the surprise film again next year? Oh, yeah. Oh, I loved Hamlet, too. Much better than Hamlet 1. Hamlet 1 is very boring. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the story? What exactly happened? The story's about this guy who didn't like his dad, really. You know, he had a big uh, complex about his father, you know. And they, they likened Hamlet to Jesus. Well, the two of them were together. It was a, sort of a, a double act. Yeah. I think Hamlet was really Jesus in disguise, you know. Ashing, what was the reaction to the film? Uh, well, people either hated it or loved it, basically. Most people were giving it either a 2 or a 9. So a lot of the older people kind of hated it, and a lot of the younger people loved it, really. Did you enjoy Hamlet 2, the surprise film? Yeah, it was good. It was grand. Like. Do you enjoy Steve Coogan? Not really, to be honest with you, no. Know. No. So I was a little bit disappointed. but. Okay. What did you think of the film? Yeah, it was really good. It was unexpected. Hilarious. Very funny. Yeah, it was very good. Really enjoyed it. Um, I wasn't prepared for a comedy really. I thought it was good but silly in parts. Very funny in parts, but um, if I had to give it one adjective, I would say silly. Uh, but do you think it was a good choice? I mean, it is a surprise film, nobody it's knows. Totally unexpected, yeah. It, it meets the adjective surprise completely. Did you enjoy Hamlet 2, the surprise yeah, it was film? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Loved it. And would you come back again next year? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll tell everybody to go see it. It was brilliant. It was better than I expected. I heard uh, initial good reviews and a lot of bad reviews and then uh, I knew about some of the uh, music numbers I've watched them on YouTube but uh, I was actually surprised Steve Cookin was very funny in it and um, yeah it was entertaining